um, being, I think, 30 years in Central and Eastern Europe. Um, there are hardly any men, so I'm free to talk about uh, women. Somebody is pointing at me. No, 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 you. <laughs> Since your girlfriend waiting for you. <laughs> Uh, what I found, so I, uh, after the revolutions in all the Central and Eastern Europe countries, I was participating in uh, a training sponsored by the Dutch government that was from a plant economy to dynamic management. So we trained all kinds of managers, directors, entrepreneurs in way of thinking hey, in a, to a more capitalist oriented dynamic environment instead of being in a plant economy. If you ask me to make the top 100 of the best candidates, that's not exaggerated, but I think 98 are women. And it's not because women are looking better in the eyes of a man, than young, uh, or are um, more beautiful to see, or well-dressed, or behave in a way. That women have in this country another attitude. When we, when we invite the candidates there to do the presentations, uh, to present the business plan, the men, so generally spoken, and I think a lot has changed in these two years, uh, don't hold me against the but the men, they went there and yeah, they had most of the time an oversized costume, I think they got it from their father five years ago, uh, not well taken care of, and they were masters in explaining why it's so fucking difficult to start a business. Ah, the banks don't give them money, and there is a lot of corruption, and the personnel is not educated and too expensive, and the rent is not to be paid. Masters in not starting anything. <laughs> the women, they are very much aware for many centuries, yes, life is shit, but despite that, we have to get something to eat tomorrow. So, what's the plan? What are we going to do? And they are more opportunistic. They have more trust in just executing it. Uh, and I think that's the main difference, and I think a lot of things change because of the mix uh, of the, the cultures. There's, there's changing something, and of course there are uh, there are examples that you say, hey, God, now you make a mistake, because the man is really a businessman in Romania. Um, so, in that way, I really admire, and I also see in the, the company I founded uh, in the Netherlands, but in the, in the Netherlands, we work with 100 people, and I think three persons in software development were women. If I look at them, they are more looking like men, to be honest. Uh, in ICC, here in Cluj, we work with 200 people, I think 50% is women. And, really, and that gives a complete other atmosphere and, and beautiful. And the customers come from the Netherlands and Germany and England. So you might think this guy from the Netherlands and everything is better there, but in certain way, other things are, and especially because sometimes the position of women is quite further developed than in the western part of the world. So I don't be too sad about sometimes living here and working here. So saying that, where am I? That's what I did. The program I told you. Yeah, uh, another good and bad news. You came here, and of course you have to miss the. Yeah. yeah. Now, I have to disappoint you because we selected especially this place to give you the best view to the firework because you don't have to go to the crowd, to the crowd. You don't have to shiver uh, because it's part the ledge. So from here, you can see the firework like you've never seen before in Cluj. Uh, that will be around 8 o'clock. So, and if that's, yeah, so just a little bit. So, I really would like to join uh, you now in having the first presentation, Alina Marginal. And it's a little bit difficult for me to present Alina Marginal because I worked uh, quite some years uh, with her and she was always representing ISC. And this time, and she was challenging, and so Christy and uh, me, yeah, okay, uh, talking about ISC. You have something to hold. They talk about yourself. Ooh, that's pretty vulnerable. Um, so I'm at least as curious as you are. She will take us uh, the theme in the exercise of identity. And I think it's a beautiful journey of experience. And really, I mean, a lot of success. Give her a warm applause, please.